Poland is. Next, after Russia wins Ukraine war, Putin Ali says. This post received a score of 13,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I seriously doubt it. Poland is a NATO country and Russia is seriously depleted of weaponry and manpower and while they can buy weaponry, soldiers are harder to come by. The time it takes for Russia to rearm is the time they do not have. Even before the invasion of Ukraine they would have a snowball's chance in hell against NATO. Even if NATO fails to show up, Poland is ready. Greater than Poland is ready. Poland is ready enough it'll basically be less an invocation of Article 5 and more. So, you guys remember Russia? Yeah, well we kind of, own it now. Help. I guess Poland will have to take Moscow again. Eh, even if Poland were to take over and start treating Russians like shit, it'd still be an improvement over what Russians are used to. And maybe they'd screw up by treating the Russians decently sparking massive revolts from the disgusted Russian populace. The gusted and gruntled populace of Polish-controlled Russia raised up in arms against their fairly pleasant occupiers in a bid to restore the masochist policies of their forefathers. Whether it is true or not, I need to admit that the constant talk of potential clash on our territory, PL, is making me uneasy recently. Wouldn't really like to finish as input to another meat grinder. Yeah, I'm going through it too. I'm just constantly refreshing the news for some reassurance, but there's just none. I really don't want anything like this to happen. I just want to live in peace with my family and be unbothered by the state of affairs of people who clearly never risk their lives in a conflict like the one they're trying to cause. Not as bad as you I'm sure but enough that it bothers me. I'm not interested in starting a debate about why people go to war. It can be because of money, religion, history, whatever. I know why people go to war. I'm asking how do they still think those reasons are valid. We're intelligent enough as a global society to put a higher value on life. I know dude, it's really hard, and I feel so sorry for the fact that there's even a situation where we can feel like this. I remember when the war broke out, for a good month plus I was just out of it, unable to really do anything coherent apart from the bare necessities. I'm often pondering that too. We're living in times ripe for unity and breakthroughs. There's little reasons for a true adversity, let alone to take steps as final as to attempt to take someone's life. We as humans could be so much more, and it's heartbreaking. You and may see globalization or advancements in tech as opportunities for peace and unification. Things like Trump or Putin see it as a threat to their preferred way of doing things. My preferred example of that is homosexuality. I'm straight, yet I give no fucks about what goes on in anyone's pants. I do me, you do you, everyone's happy. They're essentially children. Immature. Incapable of realizing that relationships are built on give, take, trust. Me. Me me. They don't actually use their brains. They operate purely in, reptilian, mode. Only instincts, no thoughts. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.